Idli is Indonesian. Mm. There's something called milk sambar. Sambar was born out of a pure accident. Did these facts make you question everything you thought you knew? Hi, I'm Priscilla D'Souza and this is episode 3 of Tales of Taste by The Better India. Have you ever wondered about the origins of the idli? Well, take a guess which Asian country is responsible for it. According to India's celebrated food historian KT Achaya, Indonesia is the answer. Yes. Take the kedli, which is a fluffy steamed cake, or the Indonesian bura, which is a rice cake cooked in coconut milk and served with spicy coconut powder. Well, both these are the ancestors of the idli. <laughs> now, the idli may be born in Indonesia, but it was perfected in South India. This happened when silk weavers from Saurashtra settled in Tamil Nadu in the 10th century. And Tiyadada was born. This was a steamed cake made out of the same ingredients, rice and urad dal. But in fact, some historians contest this theory, saying that the idli is derived from the idalige, which was mentioned in Kannada text Vadaradhane, written in 920 AD. Or the Idarika, mentioned in 12th century Sanskrit text Manasulasa. Well, whatever the origin of the idli, it comes as no surprise that the idli has found a home and in fact many cousins in South India. There's the Kanchipuram idli, Ramaseri idli, Rava idli and Ragi idli. You have a lot to choose from. Now coming to the partner in crime of the idli, the Sambar. The story traces back to the time when the Marathas were ruling Tanjavur and to Shivaji's son Sambhaji. Now Sambhaji loved Amti, which was a thin and spicy dal. But one day, Kokam did not reach the palace kitchens. Sambhaji was in a fix and he decided to substitute Kokam with tamarind instead. The dish that he resulted with is what you call the Sambar. Another theory points to Huli, which is two dal cooked with jaggery, coconut and vegetables in a Kannada text about the Vadeyar court. Now we promised you a story about milk sambar and here it goes. It says that in 1930s, the milk sambar was a result of blend of Maratha and Jain traditions. The Marathas had a dish called Tamda Rasa and they used to make it using lamb stock. Now the Jains did not want to use lamb stock and so they substituted it with milk. And what we got was the milk sambar. Today there are several variations of the sambar such as Karnataka's Udupi sambar, Kerala's Vartaracha, Andhra's Pappachara and Tamil Nadu's Vengaya Sambar. So which one are you going to pick to have with your idli? Let us know in the comments.